Hello and welcome. I do structural steel survey and layout and I'm going to be using this channel to bring you along with me on some of the jobs that I do. We're mostly going to be using a robotic total station but I do on occasion use a regular optical level and a theodolite or transit. It may not happen in every video but we will be doing things like storing control, doing offset layout, setting benchmarks, and plumbing the structure. The intent is that if you're learning to do this type of work, seeing it done in real world situations might be a big help for you. I'll be using a hard hat mounted camera and when I can I'll set up a second camera for a third person view as well as doing screen recording so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Alright so let's dive right into this. I've been asked to do an offset layout as you can see in the drawing here. We're going to be laying out 4 feet 10 inches off of grid line L18. We will also be placing benchmarks for elevation along with those offset marks. We're going to be using the Trimble RTS 573 robotic total station and a Panasonic FZM1 tablet running Trimble Field Link Advanced Pack. This is the prism pole that I'll be using. I use this for almost all of my layout. It's very versatile. It extends from about two feet to about five feet. This is the bubble that's on the pole. We're going to make sure that that's centered up during our layout. And this is the prism that I'll put on top of that pole. I use this for almost all of my layout. It's excellent because you can adjust it for angle and you can remove the prism and use it for layout on a vertical surface. And there's the pole all put together with the tablet, the radio, and the prism on the top. The radio is how the tablet will communicate with the total station. And this is my harness setup. I have two chokers for tying off, uh, two self-retracting lanyards, a pigtail for tying off to yo-yos, and then one hip bag for accessories and stuff. Alright, so now I'm uh, setting up the tripod. I'm going to unlock the legs and pull it up about chin height. It's a good, uh, good rule of thumb. This is pretty easy to do on a flat surface like this concrete floor. On the dirt it can get a little bit tricky to keep everything level. Just fixing the leg strap there. Going to kind of work the legs. Try and get that top surface just level by eye. It doesn't need to be perfect right now. And go ahead and put the total station on top. Make sure I close the lid. Keep the dirt dirt out of it or anything. And there's a, a screw on the bottom. I'm just tightening that to lock the total station onto the top of the tripod. Now there's a bubble on the tri brack on that total station and I'm just using that to get and adjusting the legs and get kind of a rough level. It doesn't need to be perfect at this point but just getting it pretty close on that bubble that's on the tri brack. Right there's the bubble. I don't know if you can see it but Right, so I'm going to throw a battery in the total station now and just orienting everything and there's the power button hold that in till it turns on so this is going to count down once it says waiting for connection 
that's when it's ready to receive the data from the tablet. So I'm going to turn that tablet on. I'm going to speed up through the little bit of wait time it takes for things to boot up. I'm going to open up the Trimble Field Link software on the tablet. Again, I'm going to speed things up here. All right. At the top there, I hit the device button and connect. So now it's connecting to the robotic total station. All right, it's connected and it shows the next service date for the instrument, which isn't important, and uh, that the connection was successful. I'm just going to close both of those. And now you can see the uh, look in the bottom center. There's the bubble that we want to actually use to fine tune the level of the instrument. We're going to do that with the thumb screws on the tri brack. Just going to go ahead and adjust them, keeping an eye on that bubble on the screen, and get it centered up. You have both the, the bubble view and a, a readout of the uh, degrees that it's off. I just want to get it as close, to, close as possible within a couple of seconds. Uh, you're never going to get it to stay at zero for very long. This is really sensitive. You got to just be very patient with the knobs and turn them very slowly. So I set up the tripod in a location where I could see two known points about 90 degrees apart from each other. That's the, that's the goal is about 90 degrees. It doesn't have to be exactly that. If the angles aren't good, it will, it'll reject the setup and you'll have to move. I'm going to put the point of the pole directly over the center of my control point and hit device. And then we're doing a new setup. So I'm going to hit setup. And here it says select and measure points to complete a resection. That's what we're doing. We need two known points about 90 degrees apart from each other and we don't want to use the last instrument setup location because as you saw I just put this tripod up so it's definitely going to be a fresh setup. I'm going to close both of those and I'm going to zoom in. This, is, uh, this has the model and everything already on it. We don't need that. I'm going to go into layers and turn that model off. It's saved as layer 99. Okay, so now I'm going to find the control point that I'm about to shoot. It's going to be point number 490. All the lines you see are the grid lines on the building. So now I'm just angling the prism directly at the total station. Being really careful, that prism angle is important. I'm going to hit that top right trigger button. Once I get the bubble nice and plumb, all right. So I've stored that location. Just like before, I'm going to put the tip of the pole on my known point. Find that known point in the map and select it and then get the bubble nice and level it out and hit the trigger. There we go. So you see the it gives a uh, result of our setup there. Instrument positions within an eighth. It's not perfect but it's pretty good and then it shows our angles were excellent. We also need to get an elevation check-in so we're gonna hit that device button and reference elevation and we already know the elevation of this control point we're on so I'm gonna input that. We're gonna use this for our benchmark. Alright, I'm gonna bubble up and hit the measure button on the screen. Paying attention to that prism angle pointed right at the gun. And there I've hit measure and shows that our, our uh, 
elevation was checked in. So I'm going to go to measure and I'm going to select the layout. What I'm going to do now is just double check that elevation check in. It's showing a point. Right now I'm going to hit the double lines. That's going to give that's for a line offset where I can select a grid line. Right now I'm just going over to uh, another benchmark that I've put on this column. I just want to double check that elevation check in and I'm going to set the rod height to zero because I'm actually going to take the prism off the bracket and use it as a zero rod height directly on my little 107 foot mark that I have on this column. It's just a good idea to double check your elevation in case you had your rod height set wrong or something like that. Alright, so I've selected a line and it's going to give me the elevation off of that line. That line's at zero feet and so there you can see I've got 107 foot 1 16th at that bar on the top. So that's within a 16th. Good enough for me. Alright, so now I'm getting out to the location where we need to set this up. I'm just going to double check that rod height again. Making sure I keep the tape nice and straight. Tightening the rod down so nothing slips. And then we're going to input that rod height. This is important for that elevation. The total station needs to know how high off the surface your prism center is. So I'm going to change the rod height. You can see what I selected there in the top left. And I'm going to input the measurement I just took from the pole to the center of the prism. So I'm going to hit measure. And the total station wasn't pointed at the prism, so I'm just using the control to get locked onto the prism. There you can see in the top left corner that symbol means that we have a lock. And you can see on the map that yellow crosshair is our prism. Again this is what we're laying out 4 foot 10 off L18. So I'm going to select L18 and there at that black bar in the center it's going to show our offset off of L18. So I'm just finding where 4 foot 10 is on this plate. You can see in the center there we're showing our offset O slash S, 4 foot 9 and 5 eighths, etc. As I move the prism around, that's constantly changing. Alright, so I found about where it is. I gotta clean this plate off. Bunch of dirt on it. Alright, skipped ahead. All right, so again, we're going to find that four foot ten. This time, we're going to get it nice and precise. Hold nice and still and level, and we're looking for four foot ten there on that center. And I'm just while holding the rod level, moving the point of the pole on that plate until I'm at four foot ten with a level bubble. There we go. Now without moving the tip, I can go ahead and mark where that is. We're also going to throw elevation on this plate too. And our offset was 4 foot 10 off of L18, so I'm going to write that. All right, let's get an elevation. Looking at that bar on the right, it says 100 foot 7 and 7 sixteenths. So that's going to be my elevation.
All right, so there's one mark made. I'm going to do three marks on each plate. There's two plates up here. That way we can come back later and snap a chalk line across the marks. Cleaning off the spot. Now I know about where 4 foot 10 is, so I'm just going to clean off that area. Going to get bubbled up and move that tip while holding the bubble level till I'm at 4 foot 10. It's important to make sure that the bubble is level when you're doing this. Doesn't mean anything if the bubble isn't level. All right, so there was four foot ten. And make that mark. It's important to make marks that are clear, easily read by everybody. I'm not just making a little dot. I'm making a nice, nice, uh, precise point. All right, so now I'm going to grab that elevation. We've got 100 foot seven and a half. Okay, moving on to the next point. Gonna clean off the area. And moving that tip to four foot ten. There it is. When you're doing this by hand, you just have to uh, hold as steady as you can and use your judgment when you uh, when you're good. All right, gonna grab an elevation, hundred foot seven and five eighths. And move to the next spot. And I lost the lock again, so I'm going to use the control and uh, get that lock. Going after four foot ten. All right. And I'm gonna fast forward through the next. It's just me doing the same thing. All right, so I just marked the elevation on the last one. And I'm going to shut down the total station. And I hit device, connection, and disconnect. And then more and exit. Okay, so that's it for this first video. I hope you learned something, and stay tuned for more.